Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Boom. We got a little unboxing. A pack of warehouse. Where else, oh man? You know, why not? But anyways, uh we're gonna dive into this and we're gonna see what we got. I wanna say thank y'all to all the new subscribers. Uh Thank y'all for watching today, and I hope y'all enjoy this video, which I think you will, and also just, you know, thanks for joining, man. Without y'all, this channel doesn't happen, so I just want to say thank y'all, and don't forget about the giveaway. Go, go back to about three videos and get in on that giveaway uh, so you don't mess out but anyways let's dive into this box and let's see what we got I know when I get that new stuff I gotta show it off so. and our paper I don't know why they always throw paper in there. <laughs> but they do. Alright. Oh yeah, y'all really gonna like this one. I forget, forgot I even ordered this. This right here is basically gonna be a Z-Man box. Alright. So, anyways. There's your receipt. And your tackle warehouse sticker. You know what? I quit clicking on the button to add the tackle warehouse sticker and they keep on sending them anyways so anyways all right let's get into it love me some z-man i think almost everybody likes z-man so let's start off with that first up we have the new z-man chatter spike this right here is made to go behind their chatter bait. That's why I call it the chatter spike. What's real interesting about this bait is this actually looks like a bait that I already have, kind of, sort of, except for the fact that it doesn't uh, have the minnow head. And uh, y'all give me a second, I gotta clear my throat out. Nah. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, this one is in uh, electric shad. It's 4.5 inches long, and it comes in a five pack. But anyways, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, Savage Gear makes a boat that looks almost like, just like this, and they call it the Dragon Worm or something. Uh, trying to find one. Alright, well, anyways, if you look it up, Savage Gear made one a couple of years ago. It's called like the Dragon Tail Slug or something like that. So, anyways, that's what this kind of reminded me of when I seen it. And it still does when I got it in hand. Uh, so that kind of gave me an idea. I was like, maybe I need to start using that thing for a chatterbait trailer. But anyway, so here it is. This is the chatter spike. Yeah, and the chatter spike. So the reason they call it that is because it's got this spike on the tail. Got some rib ribbing going on in this. I will say the, uh, the one from Savage Gear is more rib. This one's kind of segmented like a uh, tail, like a fish tail, you know what I mean? And you got your little hook slots that come up through the top and the bottom. And you can't ever go wrong with uh, electric shad, so real stretchy. So anyways, that is the new Z-Man Chatter Spike. 
they got a you know z-man has a few more baits coming out that i can't wait to get my hands on so you know i'll be buying them up as soon as they come out i'm just gonna go in order as i see them in here next up okay so these are the new z-man micro finesse micro goat uh 1.75 inches long and this is a midnight motor oil and y'all know that motor oil man that motor oil be working and the goat i mean the goat's just the goat and this right here this little dude right here is so cool oh man look at that little dude look at that little goat you know they come up with the baby goat and it's kind of small it's you know but look look at them little pinchers that's pretty cool but anyway so you know that's stretchy and uh i thought the baby goat was little but man that thing is teeny tiny they getting down with these micros but anyways i seen them on there i had to grab them Next up is some more micro go uh, goats, and this one is in smoke purple. Let's grab one of these out of here, or two. So here's the one in smoke purple. Really cool looking little color. It's got like that smoky gray color to it with some purple flake in it and black. And I could see catching some crappie off of this thing. Some crappie, smallmouth, you name it. Oh yeah, and you get eight of these in this little pack. And then the other one is you get five. Next up, this is one that I've been really waiting on talked to a buddy of mine the other day he said that he caught some fish off of these things and uh, so I'm real happy about that and uh, so I can't wait to get out and try them get out and try them for myself because uh, they look pretty neat this right here is called the gremlin and basically this was designed to be a flipping pitch bait and the color of this one is purple rain and i love the color purple rain i got purple color rain and pretty much every bait that they make that they make purple rain in so it's one of my favorites uh four and a half inches long and it comes in a four pack so this is their little creature style bait and basically this color is basically like a blue and morning dawn mix or i should say purple and morning morning dawn mix but look at all these little appendages you get that little appendage right there and then you got this long appendage right there and I mean, you can just do so much with this thing. I mean, you can tear them off, whatever, you know, and have a day with it. It's ribbed, stretchy, got a little bit of smell to it. So anyways, that one was designed by good old Brian Latimo. You know Latimo, Latimo be, be wearing them out. He does. He has a really good fishing channel. I, I gotta say, I like watching his stuff. He gives a lot of tips and stuff, kind of like Jacob Wheeler. I like watching him too. 
Uh, next up, these I'm really excited about. This one I'm right here probably the most excited about out of all of them. These are the new TRD Gobies. And this one is in what other color? For a Ned Rig, Copper Truce. 2.4 inches long. And it's in a six pack. I mean, if you get six of these bad boys, I mean, they be hooking it up. And I mean, you gotta think six of these is gonna last a long time. So look at this little Gobi profile. You get the Gobi profile. It's got those little eyeballs. I mean, all the way down to the little fins on the tail. Then you got that little boot tail back there. But I mean, this thing really does look like a little goby. And I'm telling you, man, on a net head, oh, that thing's gonna be killer. You know, bounce that little bad boy up and down off the bottom and swim it through the water. I mean, that one out there has so many purposes for it, you know? You could even, even drop shot it. I mean, didn't get no better than that. So we got that one in Copper Truce to try out. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, okay, so this is some more of them TRD Gobies. This is in the color Dill. And if you're gonna buy a realistic color from uh, them, you gotta buy the dill. The dill is the color for them, for the natural color. I mean, it don't get no better than that. You got like that uh, green pumpkin color on the top with that pearl belly. Either that or I would go with like a, you know, like the goat, they have one that's called Gobi. I think it's called Gobi colored. I would go with something like that. Oh, I just noticed the, look at this. Even on the little tail, they have that little spiky thing going on. I mean, that's just all over. I mean, it's stretchy. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's gonna be a good little bait, I can already tell. Add that to my little Ned Rig, my Ned Rig binder that I have. I have a Z-Man binder that I keep all my, like, Ned Rig, you know, designed to be for Ned Rigs. I keep all of them in there together. That way I have all my Neds in one little binder that they have. and. That's what these little holes are for down here at the bottom. You can put it in the binder and it holds it all together. All right, so next up we have a couple of hard baits. Can't ever go wrong with a few hard baits. First up, this right here. The reason I got this is because it was on sale. Uh, oh, and all that Z-Man stuff was uh, $4.99, so, you know. But this right here, this Yozuri uh, jerk bait was $4.47. And they had it in this color right here called Real Perch. And anyways, it goes to three feet max. And, uh, three and a half inches long and weighs three eighths of an ounce. This was the only color they had on sale, so I grabbed it. You can't ever go wrong with a little green perch color, you know, and you know, it has that little prism where they put the paint job in the middle. It's got that like little reflector on there. But anyway, anything made by Yozuri is gonna be a bait that works really well. You don't have to change out the hardware or anything. You just go with it. And so 
I grabbed that little bad boy. I mean, for four dollars, I mean, for under five bucks, you can't beat that. Especially for Yozuri. This is our older version. It's the 3DR, which stands for 3D Real Series. Pretty cool. And then next up, I grabbed another Shallow A bomber. I'm not going to take this out of the package. I've already showed y'all one of these. And it's two inches, but I bought this one. This is the electric shad color. Anyways, this thing got red in it. It's got chartreuse in it. It's got a little bit of everything going on in the color. And like I said, it only dives down to a foot. So this right now would be a good bait to be throwing. Speaking of a good bait to be throwing right now, here's another one that would be a real good bait to be throwing. And I haven't tried this. And I'm a big head and spook guy. Or any of them style of baits that work like that. But I, I really love that Zero Spook Junior. So I seen this. This is the Super Spook Boyo. And this is in the color of Sweet Tooth. So, speaking of that, let's get this bad boy out of here. I'll probably be fishing with this this weekend anyway, so it ain't gonna hurt to open it up and get it on out. But anyways, this is the sweet tooth color. But you can see it's pretty much all silver on the top and it's got a little bit of pink in it. Almost looks like a rainbow trout kind of color. I'm not a big fan of the silver hooks. So I'll probably trade those out for some, uh, you know, some short shanks or something like that. But anyways, definitely like that. Really nice profile. Not too big, not too small. And I like the color of it. Now it's called Sweet Tooth. And that's the Zura Spook Boyo. Next one was a bait that caught my eye. And this thing right here is real cool. And, uh... It's made by Duo, and it's called the Dika Nomaz Gill, and it's sinking, made in Japan, Duo Realis, and check that little dude out. And so apparently you rig this thing up like you would a wacky rig, it's three and one eighth inches long and weighs five eighths of an ounce. This one is in violet gill. So you got this body has a harness in it. If you look on the back, you can see it's got like all these little wires and stuff that run through it that keep it from tearing up. So let's get this thing out and look at it. If I can get it out of here. Try not to lose the hook. Alright. So we got it. Alright, so check this little dude out. So that's how it comes. And there's a little hole right here. Y'all can see it. Actually, there's two holes in it. So, yeah, you got two holes. You can rig it up different ways. You can put you a treble hook on the bottom. But is that not the coolest little thing? I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it. 
So it comes it comes with a hook. So you take this hook. And you run it through there just like that. And as you can see, you're pulling on it. It's not tearing. It's not doing nothing. There's a little wire in there that's holding that thing together. Is that not, I mean, just the neatest little thing? I mean, you're wacky rigging a minnow. And... You know, I don't know if both holes are the same way or what, but I would imagine because on the picture it showed. But yeah, okay, so even on the first one, you can rig it. And that right there is just the coolest thing ever. And that right there was... Uh, Five ninety seven. So you get one body and one hook. Which you know that Japanese or that Japan stuff it costs money. So I was really surprised that it was that cheap. But I use a lot of uh duo realists or however you say it. I just call them duo and really like their stuff. And I seen that, and I was like, man, that is so cool. And I didn't want to get it because I thought it was just like the little soft plastic minnow, and then I read up on it. And that little harness system they got in there, you're not going to tear it up. See, it bends to right there. And... So yeah, you're wacky rigging, and you can swim it through the water basically like a a lipless crankbait and that's how you fish it or you can yo-yo it and so anyways I thought that was really cool so anyways that is it All this stuff will be linked in the uh, video description, so it'll be easy for y'all to find. Uh, so if you're interested in buying it, well, you know, you can buy it. Uh, anyways, y'all, uh, I'm kind of curious to what y'all think about all this new Z-Man stuff and the baits that I picked out. Uh, which one that you're most excited about? Let me know. Because uh, I'm interested in knowing. That's why. Alright. Well, that's it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I will see y'all on the next one.